Hey guys, this is Mike. Welcome back to Open It and Play. Today we're going to look at the X-Men 97 Nightcrawler. It's another guy that I've had in the package for a long time, but uh, I think he is a slight upgrade from the old one. And my old one's joints were pretty wonky. They're pretty loose for his knees. So I wanted to get this new version. Hopefully the, the joints on the knees will be tighter or at least for a while they'll be tighter. But Nightcrawler is not like my favorite character, but I do think he's an interesting and complex character. And he is one of my brother's favorite characters. So uh, hopefully if I can uh, meet my brother sometime soon, I can give my old Nightcrawler to him if he wants it. But he doesn't really have any figures now, but I thought maybe some of his favorites might be cool to have. So, but um, so this guy, I already cut him out for the, the plastic package, but I haven't taken him out yet. But one thing about this figure that I would say is I don't like the head sculpts on this. They're not terrible they're not the worst thing but this weird like shadowing effect to me it doesn't really work it may be that way in some of the comics but in my opinion it doesn't really work with the figure it looks cool over here but it kind of fails to translate in the way that the skin tone and everything is done but i guess they're trying to make it look slightly like the cell shading thing but it just strange to me so I'm gonna use the old figures head fortunately the old figure has two really cool heads and this figure has two heads so can uh, mix it up these also might look quite cool if we take off the shading with a little bit of uh, uh, nail polish remover with acetone in it I think I might try to do that and is it just me or does he have the same kind of hairdo as uh, this guy from the old Japanese 1,000 yen bill, sen en bill. But um, for a 1,000 yen bill, I always think this guy's hair is weird. But uh, that might have been the style way back in his time. So who knows? <laughs> but this guy's definitely got the little side swirl going on. Okay, let's take him out of here. I cut it the way that I usually do, but I was really messy with it because I don't plan on keeping this package. So, um, I guess I could send it to my brother with the package, but <laughs> I don't think he cares about the packaging either. Okay, so here he is. He comes with a couple of fists as alternate hands. He has his open palm hands. Um, they're not really great for grabbing a sword, but this guy doesn't come with the sword. Sorry, I just thought I felt an earthquake, but my uh, nerves are kind of frayed. Is that the right word? Okay, I think there's not an earthquake happening now. I felt a little bit of a tremble, but uh, it might be a really big truck passing by or it might be something else. But anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, so then uh, he doesn't come with his sword like what his old figure came with. That's the one downside. But if you have like a Corsair or some other character that also has a similar type of sword, you might have an extra sword laying around that he could use. But let's check the accessories first. You can get a look at these hands and the alternate head. It's pretty tight in there. Okay, here are the hands. Is it focused a bit? It's not focused, I'm sorry. There, there we go. Whoops, and there goes one. When I use the 8K, it won't let me do the auto focus or auto stabilizing, but the good thing is uh, 8K is, should be very detailed. Okay, and then there's that extra head. His expression is fine. It's just the dark shadowing part that I don't like. Okay. All right, and let's get the figure out itself. If it will focus. Okay, so he is pinless this time. 
I think Gambit maybe had pins in his knees, if I remember right, for this X-Men 97 wave. But I think most of the other characters are pinless. There's the debate on pinless versus pinned. I don't know which is best because I, I do think they're both pinned no matter how you look at it. It's just the pin is hidden. I'm okay with uh, either way, but I, I do think this looks a little bit neater overall. But uh, I'm sure it does have some drawbacks in the long term. If it, if it gets loose, you can't really treat it without destroying the figure. So these old type, you can, you can do something. If it gets loose, you can add a little bit of, jeez, uh, I don't know, super glue or something else. If you do the right treatment, you can stiffen up the joints without ruining the figure. So, okay. So he looks cool. His paint. I have to say his paint is a lot better than the old figure. My old figure, the paint here, it's uh, it's kind of like yellowing with time. So it's not holding up. And I know that some parts of this guy are sculpted, whereas the old one, it's not always sculpted. If I remember right, maybe this part is sculpted here. And on the old one, it might not be. But we can do a comparison. But let's do his... Uh, Posability first. He's got the the ball joint on a disc hinge, kind of standard for the Marvel Legends. Okay, this part does get in the way, so that is a drawback. It's not a soft enough material. But uh, arms all the way around. He has bicep twist or bicep cut, double jointed pinless elbows. I gotta say pinless video a while back I said pinned I don't know why okay and then his wrist hinges and pivots okay and like I said that's the open palm one he's got an ab crunch that'll bring him down this far and back really far <laughs> really really far okay and swivel at the waist that's good his kick can come up to here uh, let's check this because I I failed to check it on some of the figures recently. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's it's good enough, I think, for, for my purposes for Nightcrawler's posing anyway. Okay, and then uh, thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees. And he has no boot cut, sadly. That's the, draw, the one drawback on this figure. Sorry, it's not focusing again. No boot cut, so that's where they screwed up. But the old one didn't have boot cut either, so what are they doing not giving the superposable characters boot cut, but their usual business, trying to sell new versions of him in the future. Okay, and the usual uh, ankles that hinge and pivot. Okay, and we'll take a look at that alternate head. I like his ears. He's got some cool ears on this guy. <laughs> really long but i think it's a bit different because these head sculpts are different let's take a look oh sorry poor guy short round collapsed this is the old figure and uh i really like this head sculpt for him he comes with two and the other one is not too bad but uh this is my favorite but you can see the head sculpt side by side here if it will focus there we go it's kind of focusing yeah i like i like this one a lot but they're both they're both good just kind of remove some of that shadowing effect so okay and to show you what i mean if you can see this yellowing it's almost almost taking on a a greenish color in some parts but it's still not wanting to focus, but on his wrist, it's got like a, a really off-white kind of yellow. He's got pea stains, unfortunately. <laughs> and then his, his uh, paint here is really weak. They didn't put enough layers, so that looks bad, unfortunately. And this part, like I said, it's not sculpted on. Come on, focus. It's not sculpted in. in. It's just painted on, so... That's a bummer, but this guy is still a, a kick butt figure. I really like him, but uh, 
I will go with the new version. And let's switch the heads real quick. I think they're gonna switch no problem, but let's make sure. Okay, it's a bit a bit tight, but it fits. Yay! This is my new night crawler for the display, so I am happy. I guess if you look at this carefully, this white does look a little bit different than this. But yeah, anyways, the things are sculpted in. These are not sculpted in on the old one. God, it has a hard time focusing, doesn't it, folks? Okay. All right, that's it for this Nightcrawler. I'm sorry this came out way too long. I, sh I guess comparing is not a great idea because it makes the videos longer, but um, I would recommend, whoops, I would recommend this guy if you don't have Nightcrawler and get him while he's cheap because he will be a sought after figure because this is his kind of classic costume, so. All right, and uh, one scale comparison, one size comparison, I should say. This is just him versus my homemade black widow so what what that helps you with <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay thanks guys for joining me bye for now